Do you love game shows? Would you like to have a game show night? Not sure which one to play? Let's play The Feud. Come on over here, I'll show you how it works. This is fantastic. Not only do we have the buzzing system and the game show, it's gonna seem so professional you won't believe it. You get two people playing up here at the buzzer system, the buzzer's so simple. You ask the question, hands behind the back, top 10 answers up on the board, and they're ready to play. Yes, it's that simple, right? Gotta watch it out, can't do it. That's the buzzer system, and up there is the game show button, and it's or the game show itself, the scoreboard. And let me show you how easy it is to run this right over here. Let's come over here to the, the game show control panels. And it's really two separate apps. Uh, one app is just the buzzer, and it's a standalone program. Usually we do this on two separate computers. Uh, but for this demo, we thought this would be kind of fun to show you how we can do it with multiple screens going. So from one computer, we usually have just the feud buzzer. And um, literally, when you turn it on, it goes to the secondary screen, and we've got the secondary screen. Is that one over there? You could just play this from a laptop if you wanted to. And really, once you turn it on, it's just listening for uh, keyboard input, either right or left. We hook up a Makey Makey to the two plungers, and we've got some game show buzzer apps. Uh, or some uh, Game Show Buzzer tutorials out on our labs page. So go take a look at those. Uh, but that's pretty straightforward. You hook it up to the Makey Makey, you're ready to go, and it looks great. So now let's move on to the, the scoreboard part of it. So over here on the Feud, as you can see, there's three basic modes. All right, here. So this is right here is where you turn the screen on and off. Uh, right over here is where you can either be in Edit Mode. When you click Edit Mode, you actually go into the screens where you can type in your question and your answers and your scores. You can have as many of those as you want to. And when you hit the play button, you go back and you're in the play mode. Now the play mode has got three distinct places. We start off here in the middle with the logo screen, as you can see up on the board. Now watch this. When we click on the team logo, this is your navigation. When I click on team logo, watch this fancy 3D transition. Nice. Huh? That looks not good. Isn't that nice? And not only does it show up there, it then it takes us to the right place. So here we have a little drop down box. We click on that. We can select whatever question we want and it populates, and so now we're ready for the buzzer. We ask the question, hey, name an animal that starts with the letter R. They get a buzz in, and if they say a rhinoceros, which many people do, you simply hit the little show button, and you get the sound effect and the transition. Huh, doesn't that look nice? So you just keep playing. They can either, if they get it right, you hit show, it makes the sound effect and the transition. If you get it wrong, right over here, as we get these little three X's, and I watch this up on the screen. Look at that. I hit the first X, and oh, it looks great. If I hit the second one, oh, beautiful. And so you just get to keep playing. They either get it right, they get it wrong. Um, it's keeping the score up at the top of the screen. And then once we get to all of them completed or three strikes and the other team can score, you determine your winner, and either the right side or the left side is going to win. And let's say the team on the right is winning. You hit score right, and watch this. Sends the points over there, it lights up over there, you cue the music, everyone's happy. All you have to do is you can go back to the feud, right? Does that love it? Head back in, you can change your questions if you want to. And you say this time it's, uh, let's ask another question. And it loads them right up there, you can change them around, you're ready to go. Now, once you're done with the team round, you can have as many questions you want there. You can also go uh, back through the navigation to the logo, just because we want to make sure they know where they are. And then we can go into the speed round even. Now the speed round is just like uh, you would think. Uh, there's two different modes. Uh, there's the, the first round, which is, starts with 20 seconds up on the clock, and literally you can see up on the screen when I hit show the clock, down the lower right corner, it shows that little 20 up there, and I'm ready to play. And you literally, at first, you just, uh, you're just you gonna have someone asking questions, you hit start, and you've got 20 seconds to ask the questions. So at this point, the, the host is asking the contestant questions, and as they answer them, you're typing in the answers. You're writing to the answers, and you can just assign points. Uh, if you, look, you can look them up if you want to, or just make them up. We don't care. Sometimes we make them up before the game even starts. Oh, that's true. So that makes it very quick. And so then I'll just type in, like, you know, this guy. Oh, the time's up. The contestants is done. And now we're ready to do the really fun part where they get to actually find out if they scored any points. So if uh, I'll just make up some stuff here, just typed in some gibberish there, and I'll say I signed this a, a 10 point one, and I signed this one a 50 point one or a 60 point one. Ready? So what we do is we go from the board, and the typical flow of the game would be all right, we ask 100 people, top 10 answers up the board. On this one, we ask them a question. You said that. <laughs> uh, survey says. Oh, 10 people, not bad, good job. 
and it literally you just keep revealing the questions and the answers and it adds it up you can then hide player one to hide that over you can bring in your second contestant and go through the whole thing again uh, you ask them the question this time you put 25 seconds up on the clock uh, if you want to and then when they are hearing the answers again you're actually showing them you can reveal the first person's questions and you go through and you can reveal stuff and as well what i like about this game is how it's linear and it shows you kind of the steps as they go across there so. yeah what's also very nice about this is if you want to use the green screen you can do that if you've got a key like if you want to take this to the next level if you want to just do a key you can do that or if you want to use the built-in webcam we have it where you can you know put up full screen if you have a webcam showing the audience you can do that one or if you want to do the one from here where you actually show the contestants awesome. huh is that how nice are you doing that? show them how you're doing that yeah you just click right here on the uh, these little icons right here, and that'll put it up there. You can toggle it on and off just by clicking this button, and you can just toggle it on and off. Now, if you'd rather be in, in green screen mode, you come up here to where it says video mode, and you switch it to green screen. And then up on the screen, now you've got green screen that you can then key out if you want to use some real fancy cameras and such. Dude, that's amazing. So it's a pretty easy to use game. People love it. It's a real crowd pleaser. The family won't be feuding over who gets to play. Or they will be. I forget how it works. Let's anyway, play the feud. Let's play the feud.